735, date is August 6, 2014. Unfortunately, uh, Chairman Morris is not available um, today. So um, in lieu of that, um, I'll entertain a, a motion to nominate a... Nominate uh, Commissioner Heidner to be the acting chairperson. Second. Third. <laughs> Fourth. All right. We'll just go with two. All right. Roll call. We'll see how we do here. Commissioner Blue. Yes. Commissioner Cotton. Commissioner Hesner. Present. Stain. Commissioner Heidner. Yes. Commissioner Mulcrone. Yes. Commissioner Gorog. Yes. That's good. <laughs> Chairman Morris. Right. Motion passes. Okay. On the meeting agenda tonight, we have a public hearing, case number 1405, being a petition filed by Chris Sotis of V Land, Vernon Hills LLC. Um, and they are requesting, pursuant to the ordinance, an amendment to the approved site plan to allow a right in, right out access drive onto Milwaukee Avenue, Route 21, and to amend and approve the landscaping plan for the subject properties. And the properties commonly in, are known as Jason Deli Restaurant and On the Border Restaurant in the Sarasota subdivision. Um, and who's going to be presenting for the petitioner tonight? If you'll come forward and identify yourself and Good evening, I'm the owner of the property, Chris Sotos, and uh, we have been in front of the village now for oh, probably about a year with this matter. Uh, we have plans into the village with comments as well as into the Illinois Department of Transportation, cooperation from obviously both Jason's Deli and On the Border, uh, and we're seeking your approval to allow for a little bit better traffic circulation into the property. Uh, and would entertain any questions you may have. Okay, before we do that, um, since this is a public hearing, if you raise your right hand to be sworn in, do you promise that the testimony you give here today will be the truth and free from material om omissions? I do. Okay, thank you. Um, and did you have anything to say other than that brief introduction? As far as- uh, Jason's Deli has been a tenant since we've owned the property. Uh, I, I acquired it in 2006. Um, they have done generally pretty well in the Illinois market, except for one store, I believe, they struggle with in Palatine. Uh, good corporate citizens, good business model, struggling a little bit with this location. I think they're a little bit more vulnerable to the access issues because they're uh, a heavy lunch business, and that customer is perhaps more time sensitive than uh, some others that might, like on the border, which is a little bit more dinner oriented. Uh, so they had asked us to uh, look into this. We approached the village several years ago. The village asked us to try alternatives, Hawthorne Square, uh, to you know, do an easement with them. Uh, they weren't interested. Uh, so this basically is our, our only alternative to allow for a little bit better traffic circulation. Mm -hmm. And did you stand and come? Um, just maybe provide just a little bit of background because um, of the different ordinances that are referenced in the public hearing notice. Um, the, the first one is Ordinance 9513. That is the granting of special use permits for restaurant use and the Carasota subdivision. That allowed a right in turn access off of Milwaukee Avenue, but it did not allow any, any other type of access. Um, when the special use request came forward to allow Jason's Deli with a drive through, at this location at the time they did not request this which then because of then the petitioners come back now requesting a right in right out um, that is the nature of the proposal that is before you today um, the plat of easement and the plat of subdivision are two items that um, are still undergoing engineering review however the purposes of scheduling and having a public hearing um, that is the reason why we're looking at the site plan and the approved landscaping plan today And 
did I understand correctly that you have approval from IDOT with this proposal? They, it's in for approval. They've oh, indicated in approval. they've indicated that they will grant it. It's just subject to review. We've undergone one substantive round of comments, resubmitted, and are waiting for final approval from IDOT. And you're going to have a deacceleration lane approaching the proposed right in and an acceleration lane on the right out? Yes. Is that correct? Does that acceleration lane continue all the way to the next um, right hand to turn? To the next uh, right hand turn? I don't know that it does. I, I'm not certain of the engineering of it. You talk about the it, doesn't, the. it doesn't appear that it runs right into it with the diagram I see. No, and, and my understanding is that it, it does not. Um, the way that my interpretation, uh, my non engineering eyes interpret this is um, it's a right in that um, allows enough time to then enter into the three lane existing roadway. Um, this was something that um, I did speak to Dave Brown, our director of public works and village engineer. Who has stated that he has no concerns with this layout and, and felt like this would provide um, adequate traffic control and mechanism for them to enter and exit the site? It, yeah, it appears on C200 there's a grass border on the acceleration lane, and it seems to end when it gets to the end of the uh, uh, parking lot for on the border. Mm -hmm. So it appears that it doesn't blend in with the right turning lane at the intersection. And will be, it sort of looks like there's an island in the, in the turn, but is that just a striped area on the roadway? Uh, I believe there's some sort of island just to make certain that cars don't uh, attempt to turn left. Okay. You, you, uh, kind well, of like a I'm pork chop. at C200, I don't know if you happen to have I do. Uh, that area that's in between the acceleration and de deacceleration, that's a curbed island? Yes. With, it's striped on that diagram? Okay. It's not, that's not a curbed island. That's, that's just striped asphalt. Yeah, that's what it looks like. Uh, let's see. Four inch. But there is a median that would prevent someone from going north. They'd have to cut three lanes of traffic, four now, and try and make a turn over oh, yeah. the median. Oh, yeah, but we're talking about yeah. the striped area. Right, no, I'm just saying if someone tried to really oh, go they left, can't cross. They they're can't not going to be able without to cross. Going the wrong direction. Cross. Yeah. Right. And what is your, once you get into, on the right end, as you turn in, what is your, then the traffic sort of splits to go to either the adjacent or to, on the border? What is yeah. the treatment there? Yes, where you'll, that Y is, or where that T is. So you'll either be able to turn right into Jason's Deli or left into on the border. Right. And if I'm going straight, what is there? Uh, I believe is a, a median there, that will be curbed. It's a curb that's with the gutter portion of that curb pitching away from the curb. So it the curb is higher by six inches and then it goes down and then the, the gutter pitches away so the water flows away from the curb. There's already a grass median existing Yeah, there is a grass. It's all grass the two, there. Between the two parking lots. Right? And you're relocating the fire hydrant that's also in, in that proposed area too. Is that correct? Yes. And will this, I noticed Jason's sign is very close to that is that the same location or is it moving that would be the same location That's the current location okay I guess the one thing I see um, is that the existing sidewalk um, did used to have uh, whatever three to four feet of a grass buffer before the street and now at the north and south end it gets really close to that curb is there any way just to Retaper it a little bit away, so there's a maintain some kind of a grass buffer for pedestrians, so they're not walking right on the street, basically. Which area would you be referring to? It's 
So here on the north end, see how the sidewalk, the existing sidewalk dies right into the new deceleration lane? If there's a way to re-taper it, I don't know how far your property just goes, just to bring it in. And then the same thing on the south side, there's like a foot of grass. Just maybe if you're redoing this anyways, maybe just make it more gradual than, okay. than angular. Um, I know this was initially taken, I mean, I think the ordinance was, uh, the initial request, who knows how long ago it was for, just for a right turn in. Did we consider just having a right turn in? I would think that the goal of the restaurants is to get the traffic to the restaurant. Once they get in, they could leave, you know, in, in another way. I, I see some congestion problems with this, um, with a lot, um, the, 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 what I keep thinking about is the movie theaters when they bail out. That you could have a mass exodus now. Or these people are all driving through the restaurant parking lots to try to get out on Milwaukee quicker than trying to go around the way they normally go. Um, I really don't have a problem with the inn. I think the inn's a good idea. I'm sure. I'm sure Jason's. That's their their total. That's really what they want is people to get in there faster. Um, I, I my bigger problems with the out. And I'm not sure the out is really even necessary. I think I think you could go just an in and it would solve or the problem that they're <clears throat> trying to solve. I, but I'm open to hear. And, and I'm gonna I'm gonna add to that just a little bit. Um, if if vehicles are coming into this site, they have then a choice to go left or right, to go to um, on the border or go to Jason's Deli, and there really is probably not that much confusion. But if you enter into the scenario, vehicles leaving at the same time and stacking potentially in the parking lots on either side of that exit drive, then that confusion, I mean, if multiple cars are trying to leave this site at one point in time, and hopefully they would be because of the success of the restaurants, then I think the cars coming in could stack up a little bit. You, you know, you don't tend to see a lot of stacking on that side of Milwaukee. It's obviously more on the other side. I mean, you still could have stacking. And, and I see your point about the theaters. But then again, that tends to be later in the day and at night, um, which I, I don't know if you have quite the volume of traffic that you do, you know, during the peak hours. Um, plus, People living on, on the west side of the village would most likely use the outer roads, you know, the, the ones by the high school and that. I actually like the in and out. I mean, I think it makes it, th these are two tough sites. I think that if Jason's Deli for some reason were to leave, I, I think this makes the site more attractive for a restaurant with, with these easier access. I mean, I, I, I do see the point about traffic. Um, but I, I think the traffic is worse in the northbound direction in general than it is south. You, you have some right in, right outs very similar to this as you go south on Milwaukee by CDW and by uh, behind further south of Coles, uh, by the residential complex further south of that. Uh, I, I don't get the sense from the theater that it's that easy to, to scoot through. I think at that hour, it's almost easier to use Executive Parkway. Um, you, you still have to turn right. Mm -hmm. And I'm not sure from the theater that this makes it any better. The, um, the stacking, I don't think I was maybe as clear as I could have been with the, with the discussion. There's probably room for two to three cars before a decision has to be made to go right or left two or three cars to stack off of the... You're talking incoming or outgoing? Incoming. Oh, my God. Incoming. Two to three cars before they have to make a decision to go left or right. Um, and if, if cars are coming towards you from the parking lot, either taking turns one after the other to get into that exiting lane, which is still only a two car stack, then at lunchtime in this area, there's all kinds of, I mean, there's lots of congestion. But again, that's assuming that 
this is going to be the primary entrance point for the restaurants. It, in order to get here, you have to go past 60 and Milwaukee. It's easier to go the back way if, if you are on this side of Milwaukee. Because even, I shouldn't admit this, but even when I go to Sam's Club <laughs> or, you know, I don't go to the corner. I go on, is it Executive Parkway? Yeah. To get around. Yeah, because it's yeah. it's it's really difficult to the the uh, traffic signal by Walmart, the traffic signal on the corner. Um, I see your point, but I I think that the majority of the traffic will still come in the traditional way, simply because it's easier. You also have the deceleration lane, so it's not like there's not room for cars. It would take I think a fair bit of traffic to really back up onto Milwaukee. Yeah, and you can't really get up a good head of speed from uh, Dunkin' Donut to here. I mean, uh, y y it's good to have a deceleration lane, but it's not like they're going to be going 50 and then have to slam on their brakes. Mm -hmm. So, I think it, the idea is just to get them out of the, out of the traffic yeah. line of traffic that's going through. Yeah. Maybe just a comment on the on the movie theater. You know, I mean, AMC is, I mean, that is the theater, to my knowledge, and we're building a brand new one at the mall, so as to how long that will be a concern, probably not for for very much longer, because that's projected summer of 2015. Right, but but still there'll be another use of that. I gotta believe that this gentleman here is gonna want another use for that well, site. <laughs> would you own the site for the um, where the theaters are too? I do not own the, the theater site. Just the restaurant site? Just the restaurant. Including, does that include the blank or the empty spot that's there as well? There were intended to be three restaurants there at one time. Mm, is one in the detention pond now? Where's the third? Uh, it was near the detention pond because I know they were. Oh, build I think the it's restaurant that little piece out behind over it. The part of the retention pond. Yeah. 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 So that's not your property. No, we just own the Chase's okay. Deli. And you are paying for this improvement, not the tenants. I'm paying for it. So you have no interest in on the border? Pardon? You don't have an interest in on the border then? No. No. Okay. No, I approached on the border, asked for their cooperation. They were all for it. Um, they weren't excited to pay for it, obviously. Um, I'm a long term owner. I intend on keeping the parcel. Uh, and this has been a bit of a challenge. Uh, from the start, it was probably not the easiest real estate. To, to fill. I mean, it's, it's a little challenged. Sure. Okay. Uh, but there, what was the, uh, now for the landscape plan that was reviewed by an outside contractor, is that, do we uh, have one on staff anymore? Yes, we have, we have, we have a landscape technician, um, Tom um, Bretman, and he did review the plans um, and really found that the existing landscaping there was sufficient. He didn't really, really see there need to be a really much of any change other than obviously the removal of trees before the new entrance and exit will, will go. Probably removing the best tree there is on the site in this driveway, <laughs> unfortunately. And there was talk about the removal of ash trees as well. They were going yes. to do that. Yeah. And they're not replacing those though. They are not replacing those. But, um, but that was on the recommendation of, of staff. Um, by the village's landscape technician, <coughs> that was his recommendation not to replace those. Okay. I believe the feeling was for overall tree health of the existing trees that it was better suited for the removal. Hence, why there wasn't wasn't a need for additional plantings. Okay. Any further questions? All right, this is a public hearing, so at this time, if anyone from the public cares to speak on this topic, if they please come forward. Being that there is no rush to the podium, uh, we'll adjourn the public hearing, and uh, I'll look for a motion from the commission. We have a standing motion to approve. Is there a second? Second. We have a motion, a second, any comments? Yeah, um, my opinion um, is that 
the egress from this site is an issue and so i am in complete support of an ingress from Milwaukee Avenue into this site I think that would work great it would work great only if other cars trying to leave this site weren't in conflict with the circulation and vehicles being able to go left or right freely into either parking lot so with that I am I'm not going to um, vote positively for the exact plan that we're looking at tonight and I just wanted to let you all know what that was anybody else okay I did want to also mention that the petitioner has provided responses to section 18.3 which is required as part of the special use okay. and there was a letter from on the border saying that they had no issue with this uh, development this change hmm? um, I guess we're ready for roll call yep. all right Commissioner Cotton Commissioner Hesner no Commissioner Heidner yes Commissioner Mulcrone yes Commissioner Gorog yes Chairman Morris Commissioner Blue. No. Okay. All right. It passes on a three to two vote. Um, Thank you. Is there a time frame for the board to hear this? Um, we, 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 was that for both the land, the uh, special use per site plan and the approved landscape plan? I believe that was just for the first. Oh, okay. It was just for the special. Sorry, it was on the second page. Okay. So it's kind of the amendment there. to approve the landscape plans for the subject properties. Did you have any conditions on that? Subject to the conditions presented in our uh, packet. Is there a second? A second. Comment. Commissioner Heidner? Yes. Commissioner Mulcrone? Yes. Commissioner Gorog? Yes. Chairman Morris? Commissioner Blue? No. Commissioner Cotton? Commissioner Hesner? No. Okay. Okay. Once again, it passes three to two. All right. So, in terms of next step, um, the plat of subdivision and plat of easement um, are still undergoing engineering review uh, once those are completed we'll um, we'll move forward with the process um, I need to confirm with um, John Kalmar in terms of specific process is it as it relates to going to the committee of the whole first or if the planning zoning commission needs additional review of the specific plot of subdivision which um, once I have that figured out that would not require an additional public hearing so that would be something that um, could go forward as expeditedly is expediently as everyone's availability is um, however that's kind of where we're at in terms of this process so um, it would not go to the next committee the whole meeting um, I will prepare a mem memo and I will include the um, Commission members comments as it relates to the right in right out uh, to make sure that that is um, in the record and included for review um, by the village board okay. thank you thank you for your consideration thank you anything for development review um you know just um as kind of just another reminder uh, at some point we are going to go forward and have a public hearing for a text amendment for both a dispensary and a cultivation center for medical marijuana um, these are things that and i know i've kind of said it a couple times but um are required um mainly just for the minutes um are required to have some type of permission um however the make and model of what we allow is certainly subject to um, a special use requirement and whatever considerations that um, staff planning and zoning commission um, and the board may have as it relates to that but i would not expect that to go before a public hearing until september would be my would be my guess um, otherwise i'm going f before the community the whole for a concept review uh, 
probably August 19th is the College of Lake County is looking to have an expansion. It's a one story building um, that will be just to the south, um, essentially the southwest corner of the property. Um, they're going to be adding um, so one story um, chem chemistry lab and storage. Um, they've provided some items for concept review. Um, they're going to have to essentially if you drive by the site and you see where all like the tree plantings are that's where they're looking to put the building and they've stated that they'll replant those and relocate them or whatever's required but we are very very early stages I, I mean i got the email yesterday on it so that'll require uh, much further review by staff and we'll have to go through technical review comments as well prior to going for you um, otherwise uh 447 panera was um looked at and provide and they the committee recommended to staff to prepare an ordinance approving um, the Panera location. Um, similar to the comments that were made by the Planning and Zoning Commission, um, there was some concern about the single lane drive through um, as well as the American mattress. So those were items that were also brought up um, and, and in depth and looking at you know the usage and location and um, ultimately it was decided though to move forward with that. And those are the items that we, um, there. Otherwise, there's the approval of minutes from July 9th and July 23rd. Um, okay. It's behind. Oh, it is. Okay. Yeah, there are two. Of them. Um, <clears throat> okay. Is there a motion to approve the minutes from July, July 9th meeting? So moved. And second. All right. Motion and a second to approve July 9th as presented. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Minutes are approved. Motion for approval of the minutes of July 23rd. So moved. Second. Motion and a second to approve July 23rd as presented. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Abstain. I wasn't here. <laughs> <laughs> we do that. Okay, minutes are approved. Anything else? Is the um, I heard a, that the museum has closed. Is that true? Museum? Cuneo? Oh, um, I had not heard that. Um, I know there's been some concept presentations that have been made to staff as it relates to the Cuneo property and what potentially may go there. But that would be, um, I mean, there's a lot of covenants on that property that would need to go forward and need pre very preliminary approval from Lake County and the village. And so it's, I mean, it hasn't even really gotten to the point of a concept review formally before the committee of the whole. It's, it's gonna be a pretty, so in terms of the actual museum itself, I don't, I believe it's still there. Still believe it'd be going forward. However, as it relates to the museum itself, that's going on, I think Loyola is actually planning to do some classes there. This, this, I don't know if it's this fall semester or maybe in the spring, but they are still putting money in it and investing in it. And it was just announced that during the Tuesday, yesterday's meeting on the 5th of August, that the light show will be going on again this year. Okay. All right. Anything else? Every year. Oh, that's it. That's all. Do we have a motion to adjourn? Yes. A second? Second. All in favor say aye. 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 We are adjourned. Center Tuesday morning.